Get a fixes. Taking the Gurney 5000 out again for a very specialized job. I bought myself the drain and pipe cleaner kit because this little guy over here, who used to be here, we had moved to the low point with the small problem that all the crap that washes down the driveway now ends up in that drain and it has completely blocked up. Let's take a look. So these are some of the parking spaces for the units here and I've asked the residents to move their cars. This is the new drain line we had cut because the old one, the concrete slab just must have shifted and this is the low point now. But here is the problem. This little four inch drain, there you go, is completely full of all of this stuff comes off the trees and washes down from over here. You can see this is probably going to be a regular maintenance job. I'm going to have to do this every couple of months because of the big slope and all of the crap washing down. Here's another one. This one's probably going to be a bit harder. Look at that. So that drain and that drain are connected and so is that and they all run under here into the big stormwater system underneath the property. However, this one I know is clogged with roots, so it will have to be a plumber job and possibly reline. That's a 1970s ceramic drain. This one is brand new PVC. So I'm hoping the gurney can save me a couple hundred bucks in having someone to come out and clean it. And as we said, this is what we're looking with. I think it was about 50 bucks from Bunnings, big box store, and it promises good things. It's more sort of designed for doing your internal sinks and your rain drain pipes and stuff like that this is going to be a big ass not going to lie it comes with this special nozzle which i'll demonstrate in a second let's take a quick look without soaking ourselves holy moly <laughs> that's impressive okay uh yeah i'm saturated yeah i think that would do a really good job of cleaning pipes maybe not getting the mud out quite as good but uh that's impressive and is designed for the smaller internal diameter pipes. I think that's to help it get around the S-bends and so on, things like that. However, for starting tough jobs, we're gonna take that off with just a pair of shifters and it'll be a spray effectively that's going to go down and do the bulk of the work and then we'll clean the pipe with the special nozzle. Right at the end, pictures on the box give you a bit of an idea because obviously we're not gonna see what's going on. 15 meters, flexible, hopefully going to save me that plumber call out. Let's hook her all up and uh, see what we can do. Right here is the regular old gurney spray nozzle and here is the end of the fitting if we get that in focus and she will go into the keyhole like that, push, twist and that is now locked in. Nice and secure, operates off the gun. So before you do any pressure washing, it's always a good idea to clean up all the leaves and the dirt because eventually it's going to have to go down that drain and I don't just want to wash all of that and all of that back in there and clog it up straight away. So do a bit of clean up prep, only takes a few minutes, make the job a bit easier. Right, so here it is all hooked up. I haven't got the gurney turned on. We're just going to demonstrate the flow of this thing. I've already done it and it spits backwards. So let's try and do this without wetting the camera. So there you go, we've got forward pressure. And we've got these little holes in the side pointed backwards, which is what helps to propel it forwards. So, you can imagine that with some pressure on. Let's try that. All right, I'm trying to saturate myself. Yep, there's quite a bit going on there. So, we're going to shove that down the hole and see what results we get. You're meant to feed it in all the way to that mark first and then turn it on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Let's see. It's soft, it's a good start. Now, this is probably gonna backflow out everywhere and I'm gonna get saturated. That should be the fun part of this video. Don't smell good, but the gurney's making funny noises. Hang on. Oh, this was king, let's try again. Here she comes. So it was pretty intuitive to use. You could feel when you sort of hit the solid mud wall part and then you're going in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look great and it feels even worse. However, using that backwards and forwards motion, you were able to feel like you're making progress. 
The shaft was nice and flexible, but then again also stiff enough that when I was pushing it in, you could tell it wasn't really kinking back on itself. It was getting into that mud and then clearing it out small bits at a time. I was also glad it didn't seem to be using a huge amount of water, so while it was backing and coming out, it wasn't an absolute tsunami of poop. That smells. I do feel like I'm making progress though. I think there's about six meters of pipe from here to the junction. I don't know how long this is, about half the hose, 15 meter hose. Make sure it's still flowing. Ah, yeah, yeah, that still works. Doing good, try again. Now obviously I've sped this up because you don't want to see me plunging my fist into a stinky hole over and over again at real time, but I think this job took a grand total of about 15 minutes and that includes filming and setting up the gurney. It is quite an efficient little tool. I think the water's going backwards. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think that was going to work. But I think we're good. All right, a little bit of a clean out, then we'll switch to that proper head and we'll feed it through and wash it properly. That, that front forward jet is what's really done the pressure. Now, I will state there are no roots in here. This will not cut through roots. If you have got the old school ceramic pipes and they're cracked and you've got trees in there, you, you need the plumber and the reliner. But for relatively new pipes, it's done the trick. It saved me a couple of hundred bucks. Let's finish this off. One thing I will mention with those backward facing jets is it really does, once you've cleared out all of the gunk, want to pull your hose deeper into the hole. And at the end of this, there's even a super tight junction and I penetrated that at some stage and it was difficult for me to get the shaft back out again. No worries though, release the pressure and I could make a safe withdrawal. Scary moment though, I thought I'd be trapped in there for a second. Uh, yeah, that wasn't very clever. Gun boots don't work, it's got a hole in the top. And like any dirty job, when you finish washing out a stinky hole, there's a bit of cleanup to do afterwards. But luckily, it made this delicious sound and was quite a satisfying way to wrap things up. I was skeptical coming into this, but for about 20 minutes work, it was a really happy ending. That is still draining slowly, so we've got a bit of cleaning to do. I just wanted to get this water and mud in now, so I can push it through. And with my pipes all nice and clean, I can now get back to the very satisfying job of pressure washing off all of the dirty grime, knowing that the water will actually flow away and not just pull up into a giant puddle again. At least not until the next big rainstorm. That knocks all those little leaves and crap off the trees and plugs it up again. But that's okay, I know how to fix it now. And it won't cost me anything. And sometimes it just takes hard yakka. That probably took me half an hour to dig out that one. That was an absolute to the shoulder job. <laughs> Fishing out all of the crap. Yeah, um, I've already emptied half of that bin once before it got too heavy. Look, this did help. I did clean the short pipe in between here and here. And that drain is now functioning again, which hooks up to the one that we did before. Yeah, now look. It saved me a plumber's call. I've cleaned out two drains with it already, so it's paid for itself uh, in one single usage. And that drain over there, look, there's just nothing I can do. It's a low point. It's a small drain. It's going to clog up. I'm going to have to come back every few months and run it through again. And same with this. It collects off the driveway. It's going to clog up. It's going to get roots in it. So it's an investment in preventing future call-outs. Thanks, everyone. This is James from Fix-It Fingers with that little bit of kit. Back soon with some more woodworky action, I hope. Catch you later.